Okay, I want to show you how to tell if you have a flat top knuckle, Dana 44, or not. So we know if you can machine your knuckle and set it up for crossover steering or high steer. So what we have in front of us is two Chevy Dana 44 front axles. These are half ton front axles. Uh, the Chevy Dana 44 front end was made from, uh, up to 1979. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is every Chevy Dana 44, whether it's flat top, or sorry, whether it's three-quarter ton or half ton, all came with a flat top knuckle from 1971 to 1976. So that's your first way to tell if it has a flat top just by the year. But as you walk up to the axle, you take a look. So this is a 71 to 76 half ton. It's got six bolts for the wheel, Dana 44 Chevy front axle. Now, if you look, the knuckle right here has a flat casting on the top of it. It's not machined, but it's a flat casting. So here's one off the vehicle, and it's the same one. Flat casting, nothing machine, six bolt spindle. So this is on half ton and three quarter ton axles. So this is a 71 to 76. That also means in the half ton that this has two and three quarter inch axle tubes instead of three inch. And then the other thing it means is it has small bearing spindles, which, which lets you put a Ford F-150 five lug hub and rotor right on this and it's a real quick change to five on five and a half. So take a look at this next axle. This is a 77 to 79 half ton Chevy Dana 44. And as you look at the knuckle, there's no flat casting. It's rounded off. It's got a ridge there. So if you go back and forth, you can see the comparison. The knuckle on the late model on the 77 to 79 cannot be machined. One of the other things that you can tell uh, the difference is if you look right here, the castle nut for the tie rod, the tie rod end comes from the bottom up. Here's the castle nut. If you look at the flat top knuckle, all flat top knuckle axles, the tie rod end goes from the top down. So that's a difference as well. So here is a non-flat top knuckle off the axle, still six bolt spindle, no flat top. We cannot machine this, it's garbage. All right, I'm gonna show you few different Dana 44 knuckles so you can figure out what you're dealing with on your axle so you know whether or not we can machine it or not for you. So first off, this is the one you want. So this is flat top, six spindle bolts. This is a Chevy three quarter ton or half ton Dana 44 knuckle from 71 to 76. This is the knuckle you want to send into us to machine. Uh, if you notice, the spindle studs are one right above the other. That's very important because if you got a drum brake one from 68, 69, they would not be straight up and down. And when you go to put disc brakes on, it hits back here and doesn't have the notch to clear the caliper. So this is the knuckle you want. And every flat top knuckle tapered top down for the tie rod end. This knuckle is the 77 to 79 Dana 44 knuckle that you do not want. So it's tapered from the bottom up but the biggest issue is there's no flat casting for us to machine. So this knuckle, junk. Don't send, to us, send it to us. You're never gonna build a, a Dana 44 with crossover steering or high steer with this knuckle. See ya. So this is one that's kind of a unicorn. This is a 78, 79 only Ford F250 high pinion 44 eight lug Dana 44 knuckle. Really cool knuckle, real, really cool axle to have. As you see, it's got a bigger spindle hole and a five bolt spindle. So this is the right hand side knuckle and we have already milled it and drilled and tapped it, as you can see, but this will come from the factory, just cast flat, no milling and drilling. This is one that you can send in and we'll drill for you. Keep in mind this knuckle, even though it's 78, 79 F250, if you have the rest, rest of the outers, it can go on any 10 bolt, any Dana 44, or any CJ Model 30. So these two are very similar. This is the three quarter ton knuckle right here. This is the half ton in the same year, 1978, 1979. This knuckle we can machine because it has the flat casting. This one we cannot. So if you look at it, come right here and look at both of them from the top. It looks like it's starting to get a flat top, but see how far this hole has to be out? It would be out here in the air where it falls off. You cannot machine this. This is a half ton 7879 Ford F-150 knuckle. 
You can also tell because it has a pocket here and one of the studs is on the outside. So this knuckle, even though it looks like a flat top knuckle, it's not safe enough to machine. We cannot machine it, do not send it in. Reed Racing makes a replacement for this knuckle um, that's still half ton, has the room for the half ton caliper and is flat that you can use. So this one, junk, goes in the pile. This is the last one that some people do send to me as well. So this, see how short it is here? It's still six bolt spindle. This is a CJ Jeep Model 30 knuckle, which would be on uh, 1972 to 1986 CJs. It is, even though there's a boss here and a couple other things, these cannot be machined for high steer. So if you have a Jeep CJ Model 30, you need a pair of Chevy knuckles. So you can put two Chevy knuckles on, still use all your CJ outers with the help of a conversion caliper bracket. We sell that as well. So I wouldn't keep these. Jump to there is one other knuckle that I don't have a picture of, which is a Dodge Dana 44 knuckle. And the Dodge Dana 44 knuckle is shaped a little differently, but it still has the flat top, just like the Chevy, but it will have a caliper mount built in off the knuckle. Um, and that's what the Dodge is running. It's a six bolt spindle. We can still machine the Dodge flat top knuckle as long as it looks like it has a flat casting. One of the other knuckles that we can machine is Jeep Wagoneer. It's the same as a Chevy Dana 44, as long as it's 71 to 76. And also the Scouts in those years, which had eight spindle studs uh, and flat top knuckles, we can machine a Scout knuckle as well. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of removing your knuckle, knocking the ball joints out, putting it in a box, sending it to WFO for 20 bucks, having us machine it, having us send it back to you. We do have brand new flat top knuckles in stock all the time. So let me show you what we got here. So come down here. This is the 71 to 76 Dana 44 flat top knuckle, brand new cast, OEM replacement, milled, drilled, tapped, ready to go. And this is the top down version. So this is 71 to 76. And that's the right hand side because every left hand is already flat top and machined with studs. This is the uh, bottom up version. So the taper goes from the bottom up, the nuts on top. So this would be for your 10 bolts or your late model Dana 44s, meaning 77 to 79. And this is a you know right hand bolt in replacement, flat top knuckle. These are 219 bucks. So it's a lot easier sometimes to just buy a new knuckle rather than send us yours. So just to see what we're talking about, the reason why you get a knuckle and machine it is this. We have the crossover steering arm, stud kits, nut kits, cone kits. So this is a right hand knuckle with the forged crossover steering arm set up ready to go for Chevy drag link ends. Now one more thing that we have, if you're definitely going to full high steer, is we have the armless Dana 44 knuckles. So these have the same flat top machined, still a bolt in replacement as far as brakes, spindles, all that. They have dual steering stops threaded into them, but they don't have the factory arm sticking off. So if you're gonna run high steer, then this is a nice option too. We have pairs of these. You can check those out on the website. Now, lastly, if you have a Ford Dana 44 and you want the flat top knuckles, then we carry the reed knuckles. You can see those on our website. We don't have anything for Dodge Dana 44s. Uh, the reed knuckles will work for three quarter ton Ford Dana 44s and half ton Ford 44s.